Hey everybody, welcome to the YoshiCast, I'm Yoshi, and today why don't we talk about the different variations you can find in blank comic book covers. I'm going to focus mostly on Transformers Regeneration 1 blank variant covers, but I think in most comic book titles you're going to find a lot of the same variations. So uh, let's not waste any more time and jump right into this. Transformers Regeneration 1 by IDW Comics is a comic book line that picks up where the original Generation 1 Transformers comic by Marvel uh, left off. The Marvel Transformers comic from the 80s went from issue 1 all the way through issue 80 before it was canceled. And it was just canceled because of low sales numbers. So Transformers Regeneration 1 is IDW getting the original writer from that run and several of the original artists back together and saying, hey, we're going to give you 20 more issues. Why don't you try and give this thing the proper ending it deserves? And they all jumped on board and we got an additional 20, well, <clears throat> 21 issues of Regeneration 1, giving the, uh, giving the series uh, a proper closing. And in this Regeneration 1 series, uh, of these 20 comics, there were tons of variant covers. But within those variant covers, there were four different blank sketch covers, blank comic book covers that artists could sketch on. And that's what we're going to go over today. Starting with IDW Comics Transformers Regeneration 1 issue 81, we have our first blank comic book cover. This blank comic book cover is My White Whale. This is, this is the one cover of the entire run I haven't been able to lock down. I have Every variant cover, every other blank cover, this is the one I have not been able to get my hands on. And no matter how much I search on eBay or dig through local comic book stores, I have just pulled up nothing. So I keep my hopes up. I keep searching. Uh, hopefully one day I will come across one. What I can tell you about this blank comic book cover is that it appears to be an exclusive cover IDW put out for issue 81 for the artist Dan Hanna. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, Hanna. Dan was given a number of these comics to do sketch covers of and sell or give out as gifts. I have contacted Dan and he doesn't have any more of these. So I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's any floating around in the wild. I'm not entirely sure if he's drawn on every single cover that existed. Uh, I'm hearing rumors on the internet that a couple of the other artists might be hanging on to him. So. I've got some hope in that angle. I'm going to try contacting these guys to see if I can get this one cover that's missing from my collection. But as it stands, it was a cover uh, created for one artist to do a sketch on. And they were given multiple co copies of this cover to do multiple sketches on and sell or give out or whatever they wanted to do. It's kind of neat. It's kind of an interesting story. It's also a very rare piece. So if you find one, it's worth a few bucks. Next, we'll move on to Regeneration 1, issue 92, and this is the blank comic book cover for that issue. This was a Fan Expo 2013 cover, which means you had to be at Fan Expo 2013 to get your hands on this bad boy. Anybody that has this cover got it. It came, it originated from that expo. So whether you bought it from eBay, whether you found it in a comic book store, it came from that expo originally. It's a pretty cool cover. I like it because it's simple. It's, uh, it's just got the logo at the top, the Transformers logo. It has Hot Rod here in the uh, figure box, and it indicates that it was a 2013 convention exclusive. The rest of it is white. You can have the artist draw whatever you like on this thing. It's a, it's a pretty cool cover. It's uh, It's got a little story to it. You know, it came from the convention. But, uh, you know, I'll eventually get this uh, sketched on by an artist who, not at that convention, uh, outside that convention. And I think that adds to this, you know. Here's a comic you can only get in one place, and an artist did it in another place. I think that adds value to it. I think as a collector, that's a pretty neat thing. But, you know, your, your stance on this may be completely different. Your mileage may vary. So, yeah, we'll move on to the next cover. Next is Transformers Regeneration 1, issue 96. This blank comic book cover is probably the most common one to find in the Transformers Regeneration 1. This one came to comic book stores. This one was printed out in mass quantities. This one has an ugly red border around it. Uh, it's, again, it's got Hot Rod in the uh, character box, but nothing on the bottom that indicates where it was from. This was... This was a generic blank comic book cover. Nothing wrong with that. The red border uh, is ugly. It's, it's unfortunate that it's on there, but 
Uh, also, that's not uncommon. I've seen many sketch covers that are like this, and I've seen many collectors prefer the covers that don't have a border on the comic. But in the wild, in comic book stores, on eBay, in conventions, as far as Regeneration 1 is concerned, this is the comic I see the most of. I have several copies of this. And with that, we'll move on to the next cover. The last Regeneration 1 comic book I have is issue 100, the last issue. This is a comic that is pretty much blank except for the logo at the top. You got Transformers at the top, you got the character box, but the character box is completely empty, which is kind of cool because when you have it sketched, you can also ask the artist to you know throw in a character up there, event of your choice. There is nothing on the bottom. It is pretty much just a white blank comic for a comic artist or any artist to sketch on. This is a very rare and unique piece with a very interesting story attached to it. With uh, issue 100, IDW sent the artist Herb Trimpey 100 of these. As I understand the story to go, there's only 100 of these comics in existence. That makes it a very, very rare piece. The idea was that Mr. Trimpey would draw 100 different sketches on these comics, and these comics would be sent to the comic book stores, the top 100 comic book stores that sold the most issues of Transformers Regeneration 1 issue 100 as a thank you to them. I think that was a pretty cool idea. The unfortunate aspect of this story is that Mr. Trimpey only did 30 sketches before he passed away. So anybody that has an actual blank copy of issue 100, like you see here, either got a hold of Mr. Trimpey and was able to, to snag one from him, or they bought it from the Herb Trimpey estate after he passed away. It's a very unique piece with a very unique story and is, an, is probably an extreme example of something you could find out there when you're collecting blank, uh, blank comic covers for whatever title you're interested in. The last two blank comic covers I want to share with you, I got a hold of kind of by accident, not really looking for them. The first one is IDW's X-Files. I'm a big X-Files fan of the original run. Uh, I have several of the new comics, which I'm hoping to read sometime soon. Uh, I'm hoping they're just as good as that original run, but to have a blank comic book cover for X-Files is kind of cool. I, I can't tell you anything about this other than it was purchased at retail. This was this was not a limited print, as far as I know. This wasn't a convention exclusive. This wasn't an artist exclusive. I don't know if X-Files has any other blank covers. This is just one that I found in my comic book store, and I had to snag it because it's pretty cool. The last blank comic book cover I have, I got from Emerald City Comic Con 2016. Rick and Morty, <laughs> the blank comic book cover. I have no idea if this was a convention exclusive. It doesn't say that it's a convention exclusive. This is also the most probably non-blank, blank comic book cover I own uh, because there is a print on this blank comic book cover to have drawn on and it is appears to just be a crinkled up piece of paper with a coffee stain on the bottom corner. I think this is the artist's kind of having fun with this, you know, joking around. Rick and Morty is such a silly cartoon. Here's a silly blank comic book cover. Again, I can't tell you if this was an exclusive. I can't tell you if, uh, if uh, well, I can't tell you if this was an exclusive or there's thousands of these prints. What I can tell you is I paid, uh, I believe it was 10 bucks for this guy. So yeah, uh, a couple things, you know, if you find a blank comic book cover in a comic book shop, I'm pretty sure that they go for a comic book price, which is between two and four bucks a pop. Exclusive ones, ones that you find at a convention, they can be a little bit higher. Uh, I've seen them as high as 10. I don't know if they go higher than that. Aftermarket, of course, you know, if you find it on eBay or something, you probably will pay a little bit more to, to get your hands on the guy. So thank you for watching this episode of the Yoshi Cast. I really hope I was able to bring something to you about blank comic book collecting that you didn't know before. And uh, in future episodes, I'm really looking forward to showing off some of the covers I've had sketched on. I'm, I'm trying to get artists on the show to do interviews with them about what it was like to uh, sketch my cover, what it's like to sketch other people's covers, what are kind of the do's and don'ts of approaching a comic book artist and asking him for a sketch cover. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going to be a lot of useful information in there. So until next time, guys, that's the Yoshi Cast.